What's going on everyone? Welcome to the third part of the Shopify series tutorial where I create a brand new website. So before we jump into this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button if you guys do find value in this videos that I post and hit that subscribe button to join the growing family. We're growing extremely fast and this is really valuable content. In the last tutorial, we went ahead and created the website and I showed you guys how quickly I designed my website and add all the necessary parts to the overall storefront to have it highly optimized for conversions. And if you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out. It's on my channel. So just go ahead and click my name down below and you'll find it on my channel. But in this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the specific apps that I use. In addition, we'll be adding a few products to the store and I'll be showing you guys how I create the descriptions and everything else. And this will be the last part of the tutorial series. It was really awesome to film this tutorial for you guys. And it does make me happy to know that these tutorials are helping you guys. So if these do help you, just hit that like button because that lets me know that I should be putting out more of these. And let's just jump right into it. So I have downloaded my own Shopify startup checklist. And if you guys are looking for a very detailed startup checklist for your own Shopify store, the link for this will be down in the description below. But this is a very general startup checklist I created personally and it's important that you guys go through this checklist and check off all the things that you do because these are some of the main things that should be done correctly on your Shopify store. So the main thing that I want from this checklist is all of these apps and the photo again is in the startup checklist so just download it from the description but we'll be downloading all of these apps and since I don't want to waste time showing you guys me basically downloading all these apps. I'll meet you guys again after I have downloaded all these apps. Alright guys, welcome back. And I have installed all of the necessary apps that I always install on new Shopify stores. So I know there were more apps on the startup checklist, but some of the apps listed on the startup checklist are for more advanced stores, meaning you are already getting sales and you already have some sort of customer base. But for someone just starting out, this is the perfect set of apps that you need for your Shopify store. And these are all very easy to set up. You just need to follow the instructions given in each specific app. So I won't spend any time going through the specific apps. But if you guys are having trouble with them, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. But now that we've added the particular apps that we need, it's time to go ahead and add a few products. And before before recording this video, I went ahead and chose two specific products in this niche which have a high amount of orders and the suppliers also have good reviews. So here are the products. The first one is the wall mounted kitchen organizer. This is one of the items in this niche and it has 1000 orders already with 562 reviews which is very good. So now what we want to do is go ahead and import this into our store via Oberlo. So go ahead to your Shopify dashboard and to the app section and click on Oberlo. We want to have this set up first before we can import our product. So that's what I'll do first. I'll go ahead and set up Oberlo. All right, so now that we're in Oberlo, it's time to go to the left and click on this little icon over here. And when you hover over it, you'll see the option to search products. You want to click on that. And once you click on that, this page will load up. So what you want to do now is go ahead to the top right and click on import product by URL because we'll be importing through AliExpress directly. So just Go ahead and copy this URL and paste it here in the product URL. So import and you'll see that it says product is being imported. So now we have imported that product. We want to import the other product. And this one is the laundry basket, which I found. It's very nice. It has 800 orders and 700 reviews. So it's, again, it's a very good product. And again, it's somewhat of a mid ticket to a high ticket item since it's for $10.98 on AliExpress, which means we can up the price by two times or even three times. So go ahead and copy the URL again and go back to Old Berlo and paste it in and import. Again, so these two products will have finished importing. What you want to do is again go to the left and click on the icon and then go to the import list. So this is where all of our products are imported to. The first one is here and the second one's here. Now, what I personally do is edit the products directly from Oberlo before importing to the store. So now we want to give this a very nice and small name because this just looks too big and we don't want so many words in our title. So we want to change it to maybe something short. Uh, so like wall shelf storage holder. 
and that's good enough and we don't have any collections yet but we'll have it created soon but for now you can just add it to the sale collection which is the collection on our main page and let me clear this out and the tags again my main tag that I use is just copying and pasting the product title into the tag so that's all you have to do pretty much what you can also do is just write the tag for the specific niche the product is in so something like home storage or even home and that's good enough now we want to go over to the images first and see what kind of images this supplier has and we only want to choose the ones that are high quality so this is the Im image that's currently chosen we also want something we also want this image and also this one because it shows all of the things that the storage holder can hold and everything else doesn't look too good but basically we also want this one this is important and this one as well and that's pretty much all you want and then now that we're done with selecting the images we want to go to the variant and this is where you enter the prize and the compare at prize so in one of my previous videos where I showed you guys how to prize your items for your Shopify store and if you haven't already be sure to check that video out it goes into a lot of detail about why I prize my items the way I do and how you should be pricing them personally but I follow the three times rule so whatever the cost of the item is I'd like to increase the price by two times to three times this cost so since this is about nine dollars I'll do about twenty seven dollars or to make it neater and more professional we'll do twenty four ninety five so this is about three times the original cost so it gives us an ample amount of profit margins and the compare at price what I like to do is just do two times the price that we have set so for this it would be 49.99 so 49.99 and then the original price is 24.95 and then now that's done we go to the description this is where it gets important because having a good description is very important again I have a very cool video on how to write solid descriptions for your Shopify stores and it's all on my channel so just go to my channel and watch the video because that'll give you a more in-depth tutorial on how to write good description but the main way I write description is having three to four sentences first describing the product and then below that I have a subtitle called features and below that subtitle I have a bullet point list of all the features and benefits of the specific product I'm trying to sell and below that bullet point list I have the shipping information so I don't want to spend time writing a description on the video so once I write that good description I'll get back to you guys alright so I went ahead and created a very concise description following my exact strategies that I use for my own Shopify stores and as you can see I did go ahead and create two to three sentences describing the item in general and how it could benefit the user basically you want to describe why someone should purchase from you and why they should purchase this specific item in order to do this you want to stay away from describing the item itself and describe more how it benefits the person and below that I have a list of features and why this item is so good and then I also have the package contents and finally shipping now for the shipping I just really quickly created this but be sure to add more details for the shipping area and edit it to your liking but once you have everything set up for the specific products what you want to do is go ahead and click on import to store and what this does is it directly sends this item to your Shopify store and it publishes it so now as you can see it says that the storage holder has been pushed to the Shopify store and now we'll do the same thing for this specific laundry basket and for this one I'll go ahead and skip out on the description just for time's sake but you guys get the idea on how I create my description and if you guys want more details on this just check out my last video which goes in depth in this but let's go ahead and change the title once again to something unique and neat so fabric laundry basket and that's good enough and then again just copy and paste the name for the tags and then laundry bathroom and kitchen alright that's good enough description will just leave it as it is and then variants again change the prices and to quickly change all of the prices just click on change all prices and since this is 1098 we could probably sell it for thirty dollars so let's change it to 29.99 29.99 and then the compare that price is gonna be two times so let's do 59.99 and once that's done you can also change the color to make it more professional so instead of saying my laundry white you could just write white over here in capital letters and black over here in capital letters once again and this is just for professionalism but for this tutorial we're gonna leave it as it is 
And again, go to images, choose the images that you would like. I always like to choose the high quality images. These additional images which are irrelevant to the product. But this does look like it describes the item. So we're going to add all of these four images over here. And also this one as well, which tells us the sizing. And that looks like that's all there is to it. You also want to take out the images that have the logo on the top left of the specific AliExpress store because we want our images to be high quality and without logos. The only logo we should have on the images is our own logo, not the AliExpress store's logo. So just for professionalism, take this out and crop it if you like, just so that it crops out the specific logo. But once you've done that, again, go to the top and click on import to store. And then it, as you can see, it's being imported. And once it's done being imported, you'll get a message over here. So, okay, it has been pushed to the Shopify stores. So let's close out of Oberlo and go to our Shopify store and see if these products have come. And just click on products and then we do see that these are on our store now. So just click on the specific product and click on view on the top over here. So let's click on view and see how it looks on our Shopify store. Okay, so now it looks like our product has been published to our Shopify store and everything looks very professional and neat. We also had the customer reviews from the Alley Reviews Shopify app. And if we scroll up, we can see everything's very nice and clean. And we have the menu over here for our specific store. And this is how a landing page should look, very neat and organized. There should not be too much clutter. But of course, you should definitely improve upon your own landing page to add more reviews. And then even add a timer if you wish. But for this Shopify store, I decided not to add the Herify app. But nonetheless, it still looks very professional and neat. So now the final thing we want to do is add some reviews. And I'll show you guys how I add reviews through the app. So go to the specific AliExpress link for the item and then copy the AliExpress link and go back to your app section of your on your Shopify dashboard and click on Ali Reviews. And once you click on that, it'll take you to this page. What you want to do is on the dashboard on the left, click on Get Reviews. We have to get reviews for the specific items. So right now it says no results matching your search were found. It's because our products have not pushed through yet and updated on this app. So on your own Shopify store, after a few minutes or even a few hours, you'll start to see the products on here where it says get reviews. And this is where you want to import the reviews. Basically, all you have to do is just paste the AliExpress link into the specific section for the specific product. And you'll be easily able to import as many reviews as you like. But since we just recently added the products, we'll not see them for a few more minutes. So what we want to do now is just go back to our Shopify store. And the final thing left to do is remove the powered by Shopify text on the very bottom. And what I'm talking about is simply this text over here. So if you scroll all the way over to the bottom, we see that it says powered by Shopify over here. We want to remove this because it looks somewhat unprofessional. We just want our store's name up here and that's all we want. So there's a very simple tutorial to remove this, you can just search on Google how to remove Powered by Shopify, but I have that opened up here. And there's a very few simple steps you have to do. First, you gotta go to the online store and theme section. So I'll show you guys how to do it right now. So go to online store and then go to the theme section and scroll down to your specific theme. For it's, it's Brooklyn. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and click on actions and then click on edit languages. We want to edit a specific languages. And in the filter section over here, we just want to go ahead and type in powered. That's all we want to type. And once it loads up, you'll see that it says powered by Shopify here. All you want to do is just click on this text bar over here and then just press space on your keyboard and that's it. And then just hit save. And it'll say translations updated. So now go back to your store, refresh your store and you should see that it's gone from the bottom. And yep, it's gone. It's not there anymore. So that was pretty much all for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this series and did find value in this. In this series, we took a brand new Shopify store and updated it and added the specific items and descriptions for the item. So now if you scroll down, we can see that our item that we added to the sale collection is now on our home page. And this is exactly what you want to be happening. So. When you start adding more and more items to the sale collection, more and more items will start appearing on your main page. And you want to fill it up for four to five lines of items on the front page. So that's about 16 to 20 products on the main page. Just to give it mass and make your store seem professional in general. So if you guys did enjoy this series, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next videos.